hard for me to find. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting ready for one of my friends' engagement party. So we're just gonna do a little skincare, a little makeup. Then I'm gonna get a pedicure because y'all. These feet look like I don't love myself. Then we're gonna come back. It is in Charlotte, so it's like a two and a half, three hour drive. So as soon as we can get that done, we can go on the road. It starts at six. I have no clue what I'm wearing yet. I bought a dress, but I don't like how I look in it. I look a little pudgy and I don't, I don't like that. We're finna throw a wig on because this is what my hair look like. But it will be taken out later in the day. But these, you know, you know when you gotta when you got a protective style fit for as long as you can. And so it's gonna sit up underneath this little wig that I'm gonna throw on to go get my nails done. If you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and comment some more video ideas that you wanna see. And be sure to follow me on all social media platforms at Her Black Hand because we make magic with her black hands. Let's go. All right, we're gonna be going in with my First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Listen, let me tell you, they ain't cheap, but Sometimes you just gotta spend the money on the things that work for your skin. Especially when you are still trying to get a routine down pack and these work. So you can get the travel size for $20, but I got the big size because I use like one or two every day. This is my first engagement party. I went to high school with Lionel. If you scroll back through some of my older videos, particularly when I'm in high school and when I first graduated college, he is in some of them. He has now since moved to Portland, graduated from nursing school. So like, we're adults guys. When the hell did we become the adults? Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my Dr. Jart, the Vital Hydra Solution. I love Dr. Jart. You have seen me use the face mask, but I also got this Hydro Pump water cream. This is my first time using it, so I'm really excited about it because the face mask, you all, they be having me look like I'm that girl. For the face mask, I get the face mask from Marshalls and TJ Maxx, and y'all know, they be, they be on a cheap. So I get like five masks for $12 when they retail for like 20 plus dollars. So to me, that's a steal. But this is just a moisturizer, so I'm gonna put this on before I put the makeup on because, listen y'all, I gotta do a video about me getting off birth control after eight years, but my body has been changing so much, and like a part of that change is my skin so I've been having to find like new makeup new face products that work good with my skin so like it has definitely been a process but one thing I have been noticing like my older products that have been working for like dry skin now make me feel a little bit too greasy oily so I have to find some new products that don't make my skin feel like that but also give you know the look that I'm going for, especially since I don't wear makeup every day. But yes, the engagement party, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to the drive, but I'm looking forward to seeing people, probably people I haven't seen since high school. So that would be nice. My social media friends, you know you got that group of friends that you only friends with. You met them in real life, but you're friends with them on social media and you didn't spend the last couple of years just watching their life on social media thanks to COVID and thanks to other things. These are these people, they're like, social media friends, but they're like a link up, just like my social media friend link up at the engagement party. So hopefully it's some good cocktails, a little drinky drink, Nick's coming. So we're gonna coordinate, of course, because we always coordinate. And yes. Delivery. It's my honey, guys. <laughs> Hello, I'm honey. 100% natural from the bees. Here you are. Thank you. No problem, Jordan. So we are listening to this album today. And if you did not know, Nick made this album for me. He made this EP for me for my birthday. So please stream it on all platforms. It is a love letters, prayers, affirmations. It's black love. It's black love in real form. Because one thing about it, <laughs> we in love. We into it, okay? We into it. Now we just waiting on the rain. We got the house, we just waiting on the rain, okay? Let's get into this makeup though. I pray that you'll always know love. I pray that the beautiful spirit you have never leaves. My prayer is that you'll always believe in yourself. Even during moments of turmoil and rejection, I pray that you remember you have God's protection and people not recognizing your worth is not a reflection of the person you truly are. 
To call you a star would be too simple. You are the galaxy, mystifying those who encounter you, overpowering the expectations the people place on you. The word beautiful doesn't hold enough weight for you. If you don't have the directions, I'll create the way for you and make the space safe for you. So I'll always pray for you. I pray that you don't judge the mansion that will be your future while it's current. Okay, we are back. And we're about to get ready. I'm gonna take this wig off. And then I'm going to put my dress on. I got some heels. I'm gonna change my jewelry. And then we're gonna get on the road. We run a little bit behind, but we're fashionably late. That's fine. So this is the dress that I decided to wear. Picked it up at Plato's Closet. My hair. We're gonna leave these in the entire drive until we get there so it can be as crinkly as possible. I don't know how I'm gonna keep the earrings on because I'm not really knowing how I like it, but I like like the little gold accents against my dress. So I may change to just like go hoops or something, but this is the dress. Get into it. Be into it. But my hair is gonna come down in the car and the glasses are gonna come off and not put my contacts in because it's kind of gonna be a long day. But I'm not sure if I'm going to put a bra on. Probably not. But yes, this is the dress. And I'm going to give y'all some more clips at the engagement party. So see y'all when we get there. My baby, look up, baby. Yeah. Happy engagement party to us. Happy engagement party to us. Like, turn it up. Turn it up. That says cinnamon roll. But we're not gonna get that on camera because. No, they have to watch the door so I don't get sex trafficked. Also, the glasses came back on and stayed the night. I'm blind. Awesome. I have on house shoes. I forgot my sandals at home. Fire. 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 Footwork. Peep it. Check. Oh. Hmm. Moon to cutie, guys. Oh, damn, baby. Where are Bad guys. <laughs> Can I have some of your own? <laughs> okay, <to read. laughs> So, y'all heard she just asked for my power rate. No, no, here's the, here's the catch. I'm going to give it to her. However, when I asked her, uh, when I asked her three and a half minutes ago, Listen, stop. if she wanted her own, she said, no, I'm going to just drink some of yours. And that's what I'm doing. When the opportunity pre presented itself for her <laughs> to have one of her own, like, not like I said, she gonna, I'ma make sure she, she drinks. I just wanted to point that out. Man, mustard is so good.
You just let me put some in my cup. Just let me. Let me I'm gonna go get no. No, 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 no. no. I'm gonna let you have this. No, 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 no. no. I'm gonna let you have this one. <laughs> Don't go back in there. Don't go back in there. There's no need. I want you to move. No, no, no. You can have as much as you want in this bottle. I'm gonna go get my. <laughs> Stop, you can have yours. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is yours. Because it went from here. Let me get a little sip there. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and pour some in my bottle. No. Well, I have some and you can have all. Because I want you to drink on that. Babe, come on now. Breathe on that something. Shit. You want to try to be connected? Come on. No. We can share. Why you act like you can't share with me? Okay. If you wanted to get two, you would have got a two for four. What? What? I told. Guys, <laughs> don't be with men who try and get you out of pocket, out of character. Because he act like he know. He act like he don't know that he got to share with me for the rest of his life. What are you? How you wanna marry me, but you don't wanna share with me? Poetry. That was poetry. Like I said, y'all. The you. problem wasn't the share. It was, obviously. And the problem was not the share. So why can't we share this? We can share. So why are we having this conversation in the corner? All I'm saying is this Nick bread. Corner. Why are we having this conversation? This bread is mighty dry, right? Boy, that taquito was mighty dry. Where is Speedway? I mean, QT, I love y'all. Damn, I didn't get to get my cappuccino. See, QT need to come to Raleigh. QT need to come to Raleigh. No, y'all was just putting condiments in my purse because I, I love me a condiment. And it's throwawayable. Amen. I got me some little Cholula. Cholula joints. You can see them. I got me some of them. I got some, some ketchup. I got some. I got, let me show you what I got. Let me show you what I got. I got some. Tabasco, but I got a big bottle in my other part. Not a big bottle, but like a little travel size. I got me some. I got, I got some picante somewhere in here. Let me see. Wait, what a picante! I definitely grabbed a little picante. You know, I love a little hot spice. Some picante, picante, picante. This is the end of today's vlog. We'll catch up on the next day. Good morning, everybody. So. As you could see already, I did a little bit of straightening up. I'm still in the process of unpacking boxes and all of that. But today, we are mounting my TV because as you can see, the TV is right here. It is on some boxes because I was trying to decide if I was gonna get a larger mount because we plan on getting a larger TV for the living room or if I was gonna get this mount that I have been seeing all over TikTok and I got this mount because it was on sale and we can always just buy another mount when we get a bigger TV. No need to prolong the process. So we're about to put up the TV. We're gonna run to Trader Joe's today. And we are also going to go get some paint because we are painting our dining room table. We're painting our two rocking chairs on the porch. And I also have a jewelry armoire that I want to change the color of. So that is kind of our plan today. And hopefully we can just get a little bit more of these boxes broken down and sorted through. Nick started bringing some of his stuff over. He officially moves next week. So that will be our day today. Just trying to get some of these boxes broken down. I think I did a decent job <laughs> this week of getting some of the boxes um, broken down. I also got this pots and pan organizer from amazon that i'm going to use i have really interesting cabinets where all my cabinets have like pull out drawers so i'm going to see where this can best fit just so i can start putting some of my pots and pans into cabinets and get them out of boxes so yeah we're gonna start with the tv listen to some good music we might get breakfast in this vlog i'm not sure we definitely need to eat but yeah, this is just part two of the moving vlog and getting our house together. Then we need to put the TV face down on a soft surface where it is secure and stable. If your TV is already attached to the base, it must be removed before the beginning of the installation. Okay, we already did that. Look, this seems to be the middle of where they already had it. Yep. So. That's what I was trying to look at too. Oh, it's so hard. You got it, baby. <laughs> Ooh, I'm scared of heights. So, 
barbs of deodorant. Period, barbs. <laughs> I can't let go. Well, look, if you let go, I still got it right here, so. I can't do it. Yes, you can. I can't do it. <laughs> if you let go, I got I it right here. I can't do it. <laughs> and my TV. It's okay. If you let go, I got it right here. Just so you can see. We did that. We did that. We did that. <laughs> One thing about it, two things for certain, we gonna get it done. You see that? Let me, let me show y'all. It's up there, okay? It's up there. Don't mind the cords right now. They're gonna get dealt with. We gotta go get an extension cord because we can't find ours. But we're about to break down some boxes and after that we'll probably stop, take a break and get some food. And yeah. It look good, Nick? It look good, let me see, let me see. It do look good, we did that. I, let me show y'all, let me show y'all from behind the couch so y'all can get a real, a real look at it. Ow. upstairs and we are going to be setting up our washer and dryer because I'm a cheapskate and you know being a cheapskate sometimes leave you inconvenience because I really should just pay the extra dollars for them to set it up when they dropped it off but nonetheless nonetheless we're about to plug this up I ordered the cord we're, gonna, we're about to put on a YouTube video because I don't know what the hell I'm doing I want to Guys, we got Chipotle and listen, I know sometimes I hate my job. So like I understand not liking your job, but I also don't have a job where I have to interact directly with people. If you know that you having a bad day or you gotta interact with people at your job, don't work in customer service. Don't work in fast food. Because now I got an attitude that you got an attitude while you making my food over here making my bowl all sloppy. Cause she definitely made Nick bowl sloppy. She was like, "Girl, we the only people in the store. Why are you rushing? Take your time. Make it with some love, some appreciation, some adoration." It wasn't none of that. There it wasn't giving. It wasn't giving. But I'm gonna eat it anyways. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what this bowl look like. I don't know. Listen, she ain't make it with love. I thought she was gonna forget my tomatoes. But she ain't forget. She she had to go back though. Ooh, look at that. Mm, they got a bowl today too. He usually get a burrito. Yeah. Cheers. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Clink. <laughs> Let's talk about moving. How do you feel about living with a girl? I'm a pirate. I ain't never lived with no girl before. Oh my god. And that want my mama. <laughs> I lived with a girl before and it was terrible. Never, I don't recommend. Oh, 10 out of 10, don't oh, recommend. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm excited. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be lit. Yes. Get to do a lot, get to learn a lot. Sure enough, get to do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but I'm interested to see how the kids are gonna get along. Hopefully it don't take too, too long. But you know, y'all know how that go with kids. Moving has got to be one of the exhausting, th most exhausting things in the world. Absolutely. Like, not only just the packing, but the unpacking. <clears throat> like, I feel like I got some stuff done, but This is a lot of house. All right. Mm. Well, pick back up when we get to Trader Joe's. I'm about to sin again. Hello, Christ. <laughs> I'm about to sin again. <laughs> no. Hello. Hmm. We got another video. Probably gone, I guess. All right. 
It's on my list, guys. Kimbap? Kimbap? Yes, yeah, that's not like this. It's like these, it's like sushi rolls. I saw it on TikTok, it was really good. Cheese and by the cheese. You've heard of fruit by the foot. But have you heard of cheese by the cheese? Oh, look, they got a plant based baked cheese. Should we try it? Yeah, let's try some of this trees. Well, I think mean, it's so hungry. Pomegranate? Yeah. Cheese with let's try pomegranate? It. Why not? Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you. Let me buy you some stuff from Trader Joe's. Huh? Hey, hey y'all, hey y'all. Did y'all know that Lex had her own green beans in Trader Joe's? Extra fine. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Extra fine. They're out of the Kimba. So I have to, I don't know. They said they're out of the warehouse. It's a very depressing day. Cleared out It's warehouse. very depressing. Yeah. Okay, how's it <laughs> I know this one is good. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> we are, listen, we just got off of work. This vlog has been over a span of a couple of days. We're still unpacking, but we've been doing a lot better than we have been. The kitchen stuff is almost put up. So we're just going to show y'all what we got from Trader Joe's. We made a short trip to um world market that was my first time going to world market but i would definitely be back so for trader joe's i just want to spotlight a couple of things you know what i'm saying i had to re-up on my feta cheese caramelized onion pastry buy so y'all know i saw I, a lot of things was out of stock okay a lot of things were out of stock like the kimbap y'all took the kids bop yeah y'all took the kimbap but you know this was also out of stock but i went back this cacio de pepe and speaking of the cacio de pepe <laughs> You know I keep that thing on me. I got the pasta sauce too. And then, you know, it's pumpkin spice time. So like the fall is around Trader Joe's like they fall menu out. So we got some pumpkin um spice pumpkin seeds. We love these. These are like, we love them. My mama put me on, so I'm gonna put y'all on because they are so good. Um we got some autumn harvest creamy pasta sauce. If you haven't tried this pasta sauce, I definitely recommend it. It is so good. And then I had to stock up on my garden vegetable soup. This is my favorite soup, like period, like store-bought soup. This is my favorite soup. And sometimes it goes away, but like recently they've been having it all through the year, but I always stock up. And I actually have like three jars left, but I got two more. Um, outside of that, I got this crunchy onion um, and chili, like olive oil with like garlic and peppers. I mix it in with some rice to make some rice bowls. You can really put it on anything if you want. Now this, this is my secret weapon, okay? I love these fermented peppers. It just gives a little kick to anything that you're cooking. I like to put it in my rice bowl, sometimes my pasta. Sometimes I used to, I like it to use as a spread. So if you haven't tried this and you actually do like spicy things, you should definitely try this. So the next thing, oh, my assistant is holding things, but you know how that be. I got my citrus and garlic um, seasoning, my Cuban style citrus and garlic seasoning. I use this a lot for my, like, my salads. Um, what else? Sometimes, sometimes onions and stuff. I mean, not onions, but like sometimes eggs and stuff. But I also got my chili lime. If you like um, street corn, you can sprinkle a little bit of this. We may make that tonight, actually, because I got some stuff to make that. But I got some of that. I also got this. So Frito um, seasoning blend, I don't know y'all, I ain't opened it yet, so let's open it. Let me see what it smells like. Smells so Frito. So Frito, but it won't free. Oh no, this smells good. This smells like it'll be good in like a pasta sauce, like a fresh pasta sauce. Mmm, like, I can't wait to use that, that smells good. So Italian style, so Frito seasoning blend. And then I also got some balsamic glaze because you know prosciutto you can put it on um toast salad whatever you want to put it on balsamic glaze if you don't want to make the glaze yourself it's really easy to make the glaze yourself you just put it on the stove let it condense with some balsamic vinegar and some other stuff but you know the glaze is cool i also got some black garlic i ain't never had black garlic but it's black 
They said it's a little sweeter than regular garlic, so you know, try it. I'm and it's black. Out. I think the last thing that I got from always bet on black Trader Joe's was this pasta. They actually took this pasta out, and this cabinet has all of our like pasta and stuff. So I'm gonna put it into one of those containers that you see. But I just thought it was cute. Trader Joe's always has really cute pasta. I think one year I got pumpkin, pumpkin shaped pasta. So this is just cute. Can we see? Maybe I'll maybe I'll use this for one of our um, events that we're gonna host soon. It's the Villa. <laughs> it's the Villa Alina Moscato and Peach. It's semi sweet. If you like sweet wines, I definitely recommend this. Even Eris is telling me to get my shit together. But then I saw this, and y'all, I thought this said apple wine, but this says peach wine, and it is so good. This is my second bottle of it. I definitely recommend having it chilled and this is a cork so if you get this and don't have a cork screw beware because it has a cork it's not cork free world market haul we got these two cookies i don't really like chocolate but i saw these i was like hmm, maybe you can try them because they didn't seem to have that much chocolate i got this like pasta i saw this video on tiktok about like choosing pasta that is like better for you and like not the average pasta that we get from walmart so i'm excited to see if like there's a difference in like the little switches that i'm making Diet. I got this mango cider. I love cider. I have fell in love with cider when I went to London, y'all. So I'm excited to try this mango cider. I have a specific cider that I like. It's the only one that I like. So I'm excited to see if this could be one of my new ciders. Like, I hope it's sweet. That's the, I love a sweet cider. I don't like them bitter ciders that taste like beer. I got me some sushi ginger because I love the sushi, the ginger that comes with sushi. But like, I don't always want to peel it. So this is like a good alternative. I also got some hot sauce. No slap your mama made hot sauce, but you know I gotta keep that thing on me. And I also got this hot sauce that's gonna go on my purse, and it's the Melinda's extra, extra, extra hot pepper sauce. And this is in this little bitty bottle. Then I also got some choya. If you haven't had this, I had this at my friend's house. It is a Asian Japanese wine. It has a pear on the inside, y'all. When I tell you, it's just strong, but it's sweet. It's like a sweet strong, but it's gonna get you right. This little bitty thing is two ninety nine. They come in a bigger bottle, but if you just are like hosting, you want everybody to have their own. This is a great like option for you to get. And last but not least, we got these pretzel ice cream cones, y'all. We are like I don't know. Let me get one ice cream. So we've been getting Jenny's from like the grocery store and stuff, and Jenny's actually just came out with this new flavor that we have to find. It's like sweet potato marshmallow or something. That's the ice maker. But we got these pretzel ice cream cones because I love. As you can see, thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. Packing has been a little bit overwhelming, but you know, we're getting in the flow. We still work full time, still doing creative full time. So like, you know, packing, giving ourselves grace, but also trying to make our house a home. If you like this video, if you watched it to the end, or if you skipped through and made it to this part, leave a heart in the comments because, you know, all views are appreciated. You know, it can get a little discouraging sometimes to not get the views that you like, to not get the engagement that you like, but no. The people who are here rocking with me, rocking with me and Nick when he pops up on my channel, like hey. it is much appreciated. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, and check in for the next one. And check out our shorts. We've been posting some really cute shorts. So I'll catch y'all in my next one.